Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I have um, some disclaimers. First of all, nobody's being murdered. The teenage neighbor's having a pool party. That's what the screaming is. Um, second disclaimer, there's a very short man in my kitchen. You might hear sounds, you will not see him. It's not allowed. Anyhow, today we are cooking vegan carrot ginger soup. I have a wisdom tooth that has given me a lot of grief. And um, although ruin why people are not advised to have soup, we're advised to have things that fill our stomach. You know, things that you chew and they sit there for a while and are digested. Um, this is something that might be good for banisters. Because you guys, whenever you have a fill or unfill, I think you have to go through a period of liquid diet. And this is something that is so fresh, so easy. It tastes simple. You really think there's sugar in there. Honestly, you think there's sugar, you think there's cream, you think there's something nasty in there, but there's nothing nasty in there. It's healthy. It's so awesome. You just will be amazed. Anyhow. So you start out with three tablespoons of olive oil. I use this Trader Joe's olive oil right here. Um, half of an onion. Half of a yellow onion that is this size or a small yellow onion. And then um, <laughs> if your garden gives you a bunch of crazy gnarly carrots like mine did, use those. Um, have fun cleaning them. Soak them, scrub them, make them yours. If you don't have time for that, use a, the recipe calls for a pound and a half, but I use two pounds of carrots because I figure you skin them, you cut the ends off. By the time you're done, it's like a pound and a half. So use a bag of carrots. Um, if you don't have time to peel carrots, use a bag of baby carrots. They're peeled, they're small, they're sweet, they taste good. Make your life easy, who cares? Uh, next on the list is a quarter cup of fresh ginger minced. I get this at the dollar store. You get the whole bag of ginger at the dollar store for cheap. Now what you want to do is take your olive oil, your ginger, and your onion, chop it up. It doesn't matter how you chop it because you're going to end up pureeing the whole thing in the end anyway. But chop it all up, saute it, make it nice and soft. Throw it in a big stock pot like I have here. In this stock pot, I have three cups of vegetable bouillon. I'm sorry. Um, I used natural vegetable bouillon. It's from Germany. I couldn't tell you if it's vegan because I don't know what this says. Um, my husband could tell you, but he's in... Lithuania, um, lactose-free, gluten-free, sows I don't know, fat-free, it looks pretty good. I think it's okay. If you wanted to get crazy and use the um, chicken broth that you made from your sage chicken the other day, that's fine too. You know, it, it doesn't have to be vegan. Uh, it tastes great. It doesn't matter. So, three cups of broth, vegetable, from a mix. If you want to keep it supernatural, make it from your bone broth that you made the other day. Um, skin and chop up your carrots. Boil them in your broth. Um, put in your sauteed ginger. Your sauteed ginger. Did you drop everything? Oh my gosh, vegetables. I know, what's that like? Put in your sauté ginger and um, sauté onion, your olive oil. Mix it all together. Boil it till your carrots are soft. It takes about 40 minutes. Um, just make sure you cook the heck out of everything. After that, what I do, and you can do what you like, you can put it in a I'm getting a lot of help from my assistant. 
You can either put it in a Cuisinart, you can put it in your Ninja, you can put it in a blender like I'm going to do. It looks fantastic. It smells out of this world. You just won't believe it. You won't believe it, right, Papa? Ooh, I'm making a mess. What are you going to do with this crazy mommy? Ooh, you're dropping your toys again. I know, what's that like? What's it like to be a toy dropper? I wouldn't know. I don't drop my toys. I don't drop my toys! Yeah! I don't. I never drop my toys. Throw it in the blender. And then, put your orange juice in there. A cup and a half of orange juice. Salt and pepper to taste. I go crazy with salt and pepper. Isn't this awesome? Wedding present. Thank you, German relatives. All right, one cup and one half of orange juice. One cup. One half of orange juice. Honestly, you would never know there's no cream in this. You would never know that it was all vegan vegetarian. It is out of this world. All right, Booba, I'm making a loud noise. I hope you don't get upset. Are you ready? It's going to be loud. Ready? Seriously, why would you not do this yourself? And any time, honestly, this was so easy. Any time you have like an inkling, an itching to do the fast food thing, this is what I do because this just does it for me. It's crazy, and um, yeah. Yep. Can you see it? Thank you. Junior says the same thing. Stay away from fast food. If you can have something like this in your refrigerator waiting for you when you get home, or in your freezer, you know, when you have a sore tooth, dip a pita in it. Something fast, something fresh, something completely simple, though not. Why not? It's big on flavor, and it's just so good for you. All right, I'm sorry. The little one calls. You know what that's like. Ay, mamma mia.